make your clay a brick shape. So typically you'll go to that sink and get a sponge and some water and just try to knock any dry clay particles off. So you, you get it sort of clean. And then you want to assemble it with, look over here, using a um, die that will extrude out the shape you want. And you can see there's a lot of different shapes here, and you're welcome to use all of them or any of them. So I've decided that I want to extrude coils that are this size, and I put a little box around it because this would work with a quarter inch base. And we have this rubberized mask, and so it covers all the other holes. Then I would slide it in here. Magnets, Allen wrenches. It is lefty tidy righty Lucy. It doesn't have to be tight like lug nuts. It just needs to be snug. Magnet. Hiding behind this shelving are bottles of WD-40. Now it's not absolutely essential that you use WD-40. You can put your clay in here without WD-40. Your clay will stick and you'll have to really clean hard when you're done. But just a little blast of WD-40 there and a little blast inside, just a little bit, will make cleanup easier. Then, you fit your clay inside. Notice that it curls at the, the base. It always does this. It doesn't matter in our situation, but someday you might be making hollow coils, and that will be something to be aware of, that you're going to have a, a curved section at the front. There's special techniques for preventing it. We're not going to do that. Now, I'm just going to use my finger to pinch it off, and then I have my plastic ready to receive it. Because coils dry out so very fast, if you can't extrude your clay easily, it's too hard for the extruder. So your clay needs to be soft to go in here. If you can lean your body on it and it comes out easily, it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to cover this up, and before I do anything else, get the coils out of the danger zone. There's always going to be about an inch unextruded. Um, the hollow die maker has a support that's an inch tall, so you're always going to have this much of your clay left in the tube. Don't do like this person did and just forget it in there. This is perfectly good clay that's now like a rock. So you always take out your clay. You can take it to the sink and wash it off to get the dip And after I clean this with a sponge, we're done. I'll clean that, put it up, we're done. Okay?